Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You've definitely seen this video floating around YouTube, but do you want to know how this friendly rivalry all started? Hi, I'm Peter, and here's the full timeline of the feud between Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. It's a fight that dates as far back as X-Men Origins Wolverine. Reynolds was playing some kind of baraka pool straight out of a Mortal Kombat game, while Jackman was discovering his shiny new adamantium claws, and the two were having some fun picking on each other. Hugh Jackman must have enjoyed Reynolds' mouth being shut that whole time, but Twitter and Instagram became their real battlefield. I can't wait to see it. I love Ryan, and yeah, he can take shots. Can bring it on. Come on <laughs> Judging by the total awesomeness of the people surrounding Wolverine, you could be forgiven for thinking that Jackman was in the lead for quite some time, starring alongside acting luminaries like James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, Halle Berry, Sir Ian McKellen, and Sir Patrick Stewart. While the highlight of Reynolds' career at that point was marrying Blake Lively. That is, until he let loose his fantastic comedic talent in Deadpool. Back in 2015, before the Merc with a Mouth solo movie was given the go-ahead, Reynolds posted a video on Instagram mocking Hugh Jackman's Australian accent, which Jackman retweeted. Good day, mate. Hugh Jackman here. Just reminding you to get your votes in for people's sexiest men alive. A year later, Marvel dropped the teaser for Deadpool, revealing that its release would coincide with Australia Day. I actually think Reynolds likes these small promo clips even more than the movies. Only one teeny problem. You gave us Wolverine. And for that, I can't forgive you. Well, according to the comics, Wolverine hails from Alberta, Canada, which actually borders Ryan's home state of British Columbia. So one way or another, we have Canada to thank for giving us Wolverine. Your country needs you. I'm Canadian. So I guess the joke's on you, Ryan. But we still think that despite all the cursing and sassy comments, Deadpool's humor is pretty hilarious. In a video, Reynolds said that he doesn't have a problem with Jackman, but then goes on to say, the movie Wolverine, that was the career low for me. Clearly a hilarious attempt to make us forget about his real low points in his career, Green Lantern. Eventually, Jackman couldn't help but address Reynolds' attention-seeking ways by posting a pic captioned, seriously, mate. You've got to stop following me. Security? And it didn't end there, with Jackman posting one more tweet saying, Who put something in my drink? Woke up and the Deadpool movie was on. Ryan Reynolds and your cute little red suit come anywhere near me and... Well, I guess it's left to us to figure out what would happen next. Even though that little red suit is very cute, Deadpool's revenge was swift and merciless. He dissed Wolverine a couple of times in the trailer to Deadpool 2 with low blows like from the studio who killed Wolverine to black eyes like to get this role, he did something unspeakable to someone whose name rhymes with Wolverine. But this wasn't the first time Reynolds explicitly referenced Jackman's renowned charisma. Remember when we got to see this handsome guy at the end of the first film? Audi 5000. Wait, 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 wait. Meanwhile, Eddie the Eagle came out in 2015, a real-life sports movie about an erstwhile British skier starring Hugh Jackman and Taron. Isn't that the guy from Kingsman Edgerton? Reynolds got the idea in his head to interview Jackman about the movie, and you can already imagine how it went down. As Ryan tweeted afterwards, I'm the Barbara f***ing Walters of hard-hitting journalism. Hashtag no softball questions. Take a look at that. I heard that on X-Men Wolverine, mm. you had specially designed lifts put in your shoes mm. so you would appear taller than one of your co-stars. Mm. Is this true or just a silly fact? The banter between these two has never let up over the years. Remember how Ryan tried to impersonate Jackman? Well, you struck back one year later. As anyone familiar with Klingon knows, revenge is a dish best served cold. So Jackman waited to post a meta jab at Ryan imitating his voice and pulling up a cardboard pic captioned, Ryan Reynolds asked me to post this 100% real video by him on being honored with a star on Hollywood's Walk of Fame today. Ryan Reynolds here, I, I, method actor. I'm working on my Australian accent. I'm doing a uh, Crocodile Dundee 7. Uh, you're gonna love it. Anyway. <clears throat> but while Hugh spent a year trying to figure out his comeback joke, Reynolds wasted no time. Jackman visited Beijing in 2017 for the premiere of his final, final appearance as Wolverine in the movie Logan. He posted a picture with his fans and, of course, Reynolds couldn't pass up the chance to troll Jackman, commenting, uh, pretty sure those are protesters. I'm gonna cut your goddamn head off. Funnily, 
Or maybe appropriately enough, Deadpool ended up being banned in Beijing. And in 2018, instead of promoting the original cut of Deadpool 2, China only partially relented and premiered a PG-13 re-edit of Deadpool 2, called Once Upon a Deadpool. Rather than calling him Xia Xie, Chinese fans have affectionately dubbed the character Little Zhang Zhang, which sort of translates loosely as Little Bitchy Bitch. Think Jackman would have ever stood for that? We have to admit, though, Reynolds handled it pretty well. He later commented on the nickname at a presser. I feel like my wife gave that to me at first, but I guess China can get the credit. While filming Deadpool 2, Ryan injured his arm and was scheduled for surgery, but cancelled it in favor of promoting his film in China. As he explained himself, this was more important. I was not going to miss coming to China. That's true dedication and shows a lot of love for the fans. Or maybe Reynolds really does have a healing factor that he keeps under wraps. I'm glad that Chinese fans got a chance to see what they could of Deadpool 2, but the edit ended up leaving out a lot. Anyway, Reynolds' career has picked up steam on the back of his incessant trolling. He appeared on Ellen to talk about a potential collaboration between Jackman and himself. He's on this kickball change kick right now. I can't seem to bring him back to the violence. I talk to him every other day. Every other other day, he takes the call. Still, Hugh rises above it all to remain a classy guy. Here's how he responded to Reynolds on the Today Show. We do speak every other day. And, and, and he calls me every other day wanting to be in my one-man show. <laughs> singing and dancing as Deadpool. And I'm like, dude, I don't think you can sing or dance. Unless you can. Unless you can. Well, did he accept the challenge? In 2018, Jackman and Reynolds felt like that wasn't enough and decided to get even more celebs involved in their spat. Gorgeous Emily Blunt posted a pic with Jackman and Reynolds ended up jokingly siding with Blunt's husband, John Krasinski, when he commented, this is a call to action. This man must be stopped. But it was Reynolds who ended up getting stopped in the end. Jake Gyllenhaal helped Hugh Jackman pull a classic holiday prank. Take a look at this photo. These f***ing assholes said it was a sweater party, Reynolds captioned. Even Reynolds' wife, Blake Lively, took it upon herself to get involved in the game to troll Ryan. And if you want a compilation of the best Ryan Reynolds versus Blake Lively moments, let me know. For Reynolds' 41st birthday last year, Blake posted a pic of Ryan Gosling with the caption, Happy birthday, baby. This probably smarts a bit, but it's also probably a bit less painful than this sarcastic tweet. Who needs a minivan? I'm driving this from now on. Subtle, gorgeous, and oh my god, you're huge. And that leads us to yet another set of meta trolls about the van. Let's see what the deal actually is. Both guys have their own businesses. Reynolds has a stake in Aviation Gin, which I can uh, personally confirm is pretty great. While Jackman started his own coffee company and a foundation called Laughing Man. Hugh puts up half the cost to start the foundation and donates all his profits back to helping local farmers and communities in coffee producing countries around the world. One might say that Jackman finally had enough time to work out his business plan because his main source of income dried up. Because, uh, Wolverine's, you know, dead. But anyone would have to admit that what he does is very cool. So cool, in fact, that the two actors decided to call a truce and agreed to film ads for each other's products. Take a look at Reynolds' touching ad for Hugh. Can a cup of coffee be a superhero? Because Laughing Man beans are born with a special power. Sure, it's the best tasting coffee on the market. Yeah, it awakens your senses with unbelievable flavor. But Jackman played it a uh, little dirty. Ryan Reynolds is a complete and total f the gin's pretty great, though. I'll have to try it someday. You know what they say, all's fair in love and war. But, uh, which one is it? Don't rush to give us an answer, because it turns out Reynolds played Dirty too. Let's check his YouTube page. He has a whole section for videos humiliating Hugh Jackman, like this one. Milwaukee. He then walked off the job on Wolverine, adding to unemployment. Is this the type of amazing actor and nice person we want delivering a preachy liberal speech this award season? But it was Hugh who came up with an easy, though admittedly not very elaborate joke to solve their standoff. He posted a video on his Instagram where his dog poops on a pic of Reynolds wearing his iconic Deadpool costume. Pretty harsh. But poop reminds us of when Deadpool butted into Jackman's happy birthday message, as has now become a tradition, which you'll see more of at the end of the video. Fans loved the feud so much, they even made their own ending to Logan, starring someone you might call, uh, fake pool. It was so bittersweet that so many fans genuinely wished it was a real post credit scene. Uh, 
and uh, cool Rocky IV reference, by the way. Even Blake Lively secretly thinks that Jackman and Reynolds are closer than we know. Look at this caption. Is the extra distance between you supposed to convince me you don't love him more than me? Nice try. Ryan Reynolds does indeed love Hugh Jackman. This September, when Hugh received the Order of Australia, Ryan posted a pretty sweet tweet, praising him in his own friendly manner. Receiving the Order of Australia is a huge deal. And despite what I tell anyone who'll listen, Hugh Jackman is one of the finest, kindest, hardest working, generous, and most talented people I've had the privilege to call my friend. There's nobody better. None of this changes the unfortunate fact that he's a complete bastard. And Jackman recently turned 51 on October 12th while performing his stage show, The Man, The Music, The Show, in Indianapolis. After finishing a spirited birthday performance, Jackman was so excited that he shouted out, hey, Let's see Ryan Reynolds do that! In a matter of mere seconds, Ryan's face emerged on a huge screen to sing him a happy birthday, finishing with a sweet touch. And I'm not even f***ing professionally trained, Jackman, you piece of <laughs> But it was just after Jackman made his birthday wish that he took his chance to get the last laugh. This is my show. You do not go stealing my show. No one likes you. And I say that as a friend. So, who's the ultimate winner in this friendly rivalry? Was the winner friendship all along? Let me know who's better in the comments. And tell me about any other celeb feuds that you want us to talk about next. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. And, as always, stay awesome. <laughs>